What's up, jabronis? Jabroni ponies. Bronies. And brownies. What's up? Uh, we're talking about surf rocket racers today. Here's the uh, case for the thing. Yeah, uh, this is a water ski type, uh, sea dew type deal. And it makes me think of uh, going to the lake and uh, just having a time. I might have been on a sea dew like once in my life. Um, but yeah, it looks fun. It's, it looks like a fun sport and everything, but this game. I, I, it's not memorable and it's not noteworthy, I don't think. It, this is just, I don't know, th there's other games, I think there's one called like Wave Race Blue Storm, I think that was like on GameCube or something, and there might be a few others, but um, it's cool. I think that it's easy to confuse and conflate this genre with just boat racing games, like uh, I was talking about Xbox original games, like there was like one called like Blood blood water or something blood born i don't know i'll find a picture for that um but yeah hydro thunder is th this game is not um and yeah it's just uh i would much rather play hydro thunder i think hydro thunder is way more of a an ambitious game this one feels kind of tired and clunky to my uh y you know memory if my memory serves me but that's not to say that we're not, not going to give this game a shot. Uh, you know, it's one to two players. That's cool. It's always good to have multi multiple uh, one players. Yeah, Super Runabout is like one player. That sucks. But uh, Surf Rocket Racers is two. You might be able to forgive this game and give it a good go. And, yeah. Uh, other than that, uh, oh, it's a Crave game. I think the other one was Crave. No? Crave. They always steal your... VMU image and just uh, capitalize on that. Like Shadow Man, you just end up with that like teddy bear image on your VMU. Can't ever find a picture of that though. Um, other than that, uh, we are going to uh, go to work here soon. I'm going to shoot some footage tonight. I'm going to take some pictures of these cases and stuff now. And the future me will be posting. And uh, so for now, this is the past me. And uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say hello to my future self. Hey, hey man, I hope you're doing good. Hope you had a good day at work today. And uh, we'll be posting. And uh, yeah, yeah. Right on, I am excited and not excited at the same time. The water effects in this menu right here look very good. Look at the waves, look at just the water. If it's like that in game, that would be pretty sweet. All right. Just do DC, keep it simple, keep it safe. Championships, tricks and techniques, that's cool. It's teaching you, but I'm just gonna jump right into it. Let's do championships. I don't play the games that I have. I just, I'm such a casual. I keep meaning to play these games and I just want to go in these games hardcore. And I, I just see myself like an old age still playing these. Like, I don't want to stop playing video games in my life, you know? Like, the average video gamer is like 37 or something like that. Well, like, I, I hope it just keeps going up when I get older, like, you know? And then they just start accepting that, hey, it's just a format that's pretty awesome. This guy looks tough. I just want to be this guy. You know, because I demand more respect at work and stuff. I just feel like it, you know, the older I get, the more respect I, like, I, the more I care about it. I used to goof off a lot more. 
Um, I don't know, man. I, I just think that um, working gives you a lot of character, and I just think that a lot, there's a lot of snowflakes out in this world. I was holding down the A button because of Super Runabout, um, because I just played Super Runabout, so this is a right trigger is gas type game. But all I'm saying is that um, if you're having a bad day at work and you start feeling bad and like people get to you and stuff, just keep in mind that you're getting stronger and they're getting weaker because like if they're trying to push your buttons and stuff, it's that, that really people's actions reflect themselves, you know. And um, if you just hold your ground and not react, you see that's what people want. They they want you to react, you know. Hope you can hear me. I'm, I might have to turn this volume down a little bit more. But let me do that since I'm questioning. Normally my gut works pretty good. Because if you go with your gut, you will never go wrong. I've learned that the hard way. But nothing serious ever happened. Just, you know, just acknowledging that uh, in elementary school uh, that people are going to not be aware of their actions and spill milk all up on the table. And I just see it, you know. Do you guys ever just see stuff happening? It's like, hey, I've tried to explain this to people, and they're, they're like, oh, you're psychic. And I'm like, no, I'm not psychic. I'm not psychic. I just see things happen before they happen because, you know, that's why I'm kind of a standoffish person, you know, kind of like an empath. But that don't mean I'm psychic. That just means that I've, you know, I just acknowledge people's behavior. That don't mean nothing. I want to do a trick so bad, but... Uh, I don't know. I keep messing with the camera angles. Something to do with the um, B button and X button. Um, but I don't know. Yeah, the water does look pretty good. I guess it's the in-game water graphics. So, do people hate water levels? I think people hate snow levels in video games. You know. Um, how do I do tricks? Just about to run into that brick wall there. That concrete wall. Look like I hit something. I just didn't hit anything. I, I don't know. Um, I don't care what position I'm in, even though I just now noticed talking about it. It's uh, position eight, uh, six. Two out of six, I mean. What am I talking about? Eight. Ain't even an eight up there. Maybe I want to be in position eight. Maybe I want to figure out how to do tricks. Maybe I need to reevaluate my life and look in the mirror and take a deep breath and splash some cool wet water in my face just because of all the regrets and the remorse you know pills make the bills go away <laughs> I guess you just hold down the A button and do direction pad because um, you can kind of control yourself in midair I really don't know how sea dudes work. I was wondering that. I, I saw that dolphin just going crazy. That's cool. This, hey, this game gets an... I want to say I want to give it a point, but this I don't think this game deserves an extra point because of a dolphin. Oh. <laughs> that, was, that was good. We can do it again. <laughs> That's a good way. He, he's like a bobber, man. He just keeps bobbing. What's his name? Max, Max Steel Covert Missions. You know, you gotta make a guy generic and tough, you know? You gotta make the tough guys generic. You always have to have one tough guy. You know? In fighting games, you always have the tough guy. And, hey, I did second place. That's pretty good. Let's see if it unlocked anything. Going to Rome. Yeah, man, I was, uh, let's just go ahead and play this, man. I don't have to use the VMU backup CD all the time, but... Yeah, man, just ancient stuff really creeps me out, man. Um, and it's fascinating. Because the, the societal reboot in the 1800s is just, uh, I don't know, it's like I'm still kind of skeptical about it, but the people talking about it have a lot of cogent points. And, uh, you know, racing games are cool. You just hug the turns. You got to be familiar with the stages. And uh, turning is very difficult. It's a miracle I got second place in the first level. Oh man, like just Coliseums, just thinking about all the dead people and what happened, you know, like there was some sort of nuclear bomb, nuclear bomb. I feel like I'm going to miss a checkpoint because of all these pillars, it's going to be hard to see one, you know what I'm saying? See how things are going. Um, the level design is really good, 
surprisingly. It's uh, not as bland as I thought it might be. Um, games like this are, I want to say few and far between, but I'm sure there's, you, like I said, Wave Race and stuff. You can find stuff like this. Um, my gut tells me that uh, this game ain't really worth your time. But there are worse games in this universe, man. Like, you can play just horrible games. Like, there are... I want to name one. What's the worst game I've ever played? Um, I don't know, man. I've been focusing on good stuff, like what I like, you know? I don't want to think about what I hate. But there are bad games out there. <laughs> Let's go through a pillar and see if that does anything. Whoa! <laughs> I just watched an episode of Hey Dude. Might watch another Nickelodeon show before I go to bed. I just want to um, edit some and get another little crappy video thrown out to the universe. I'm having fun with these racing games, actually. They're kind of cool. Racing games are a great genre. Um, I don't know. It's like... um. I'll give this like a 7.8. No, that's too low for this. This game has some charm and character and stuff. I mean, it might grow on you. Give it an 8.3. That's good enough. Good enough for this game, at least for now. 8.3 is pretty good. Do I recommend? I'm just going to stay silent. You know, let the universe find out about this game on its own. Um... But it's definitely not the worst Dreamcast game out there. Oh, you're able to go to the Bahamas after you fail? Or did you just have to go back a level? I think they're penalizing... Yeah, they're penalizing you. Well, you get to see a dolphin again, maybe. Is there a dolphin up here? Let's, let's not end it yet. Not yet. We're not done. We're not done. We're not done with sea dews and dolphins. See where that dolphin? I'm on dolphin lookout. Where where are you at? Don't make me do dolphin noises. That's how dolphins sound. If y'all didn't know, what the? Did you see that? I know you caught that. I know you see me. I I, I know I'm on y'all's minds. Was there a dolphin? I just missed it. I know there had to be a dolphin. There needs to be a TV show on TV called Dolphin Lookout. And it's just like super serious people who are just like stressing out and pulling their hair out. And they're just like, then just cuts to where the dolphins really are. And then it just like cuts to the people looking for the dolphins, but they can't find the dolphins. They, like that's every episode. They never find the dolphins. That's a horrible idea. Dolphin Lookout, the, the TV show. You can find that on, uh, what's a good network for Dolphin Lookout? TLC? The Learning Channel. Oh, oh, oh there was the dolphin. Y'all have a good one. Thanks for watching.